by CNN coming out and saying Joe Rogan took horse paste and then Joe Rogan coming out and saying the medication worked, yeah. people are going to believe the tractor supply stuff. Mm-hmm. And that's CNN's fault. Joe also got monoclonal antibodies, the emergency use authorization approved by the FDA that Ron DeSantis was trying to get because they've been using it in Florida. Seems like that stuff really works and it's approved treatment. Well, it's what the Biden administration tried to take away from Florida. And according tried to, they did. Yeah. Uh, no, no. But according to Ron DeSantis, he fought against this. And this is one reason why Florida's cases are so uh, down right now as they are. You look at the New York cases, they're double that of Florida right now. And you see their policies. You see the, the what, what kind of restrictions they implemented. The exact opposite of what New York did. So there's a they, there deserves to be a bigger conversation about these two different approaches, New York and Florida, talk because to, it's pretty clear what's talk happening. Talk to Dr. Tim. Talk to your doctor. Talk to your doctor. I, I, I got to wonder, is the only missing piece here a, a, a definitive damage? Because if, if if CNN lies, Sanjay Gupta says, yes, Joe, they lied. I mean, that's clear admission, right? He said they shouldn't have done it, but the, it would be the damage. You can get a declaratory judgment like Robert <laughs> suggested during our last live stream. Uh, nominal damages. And, and in reality, he's got at least 10 million. Yeah, he could get an expert to say he's got 10 million in damages. But, that's and, just and realistic the because is, of the scale that he operates. He, he yeah. never yeah. actually said that it was the I word, the ivermectin, that, that, that the horse dewormer that made it better. He, he never even promoted any of it. He just said, right. this is what I'm on. My doctors gave it to me. Three days later, he said, I feel better. My uh, you know test is now showing I'm negative. Yep. They never even credited to any yep. one element of what he was taking. He was on a strict regimen of stuff prescribed by yeah. a doctor. Plus, Rogan also says that uh, they, they changed the way that he looked. They they used yeah. the filter what? to make him look a lot sicker than he was what? from his original they, Instagram they video. They did it with Trump. They yeah. make Trump look more so is, is, there, is there a possibility to even pursue that legally? Is that, oh, is that an option as well? that could be pursued. And then you throw yeah. in that the FDA piggybacked off of this. The FDA mm-hmm. put out that fake tweet that Gupta was talking about, yes. Rogan, that was deliberately missed. And this is, I'm suing the FDA right now for their bait and switch on what they did with the vaccine. They lie. They right now have military surgeons and military doctors going in and faking labels to try to convince people that they're getting something different than what, what is this? Vaccine. So what it is, is you have currently, the only thing that's available is the EUA. Right. So the emergency use authorized under the under the law, you can't uh, force that. There's an informed consent requirement. That's the Nuremberg Code put into law. So, but the, and what uh, the defense secretary said is the only thing we're going to require is the approved, the FDA biologic licensed one, not any of the EUA ones. Exactly, but it's not available. And Pfizer has said they're not going to be producing it for months. Mm-hmm. So some smart soldiers, we brought suit against the FDA saying they shouldn't have licensed uh, Comer- uh, Comirnaty as long as it was uh, unavailable. Is that, that pronounce it Comirnaty? I, I don't even know how to pronounce it. But it, it, it's supposed to be like mRNA in between and oh. then COVID at the beginning and whatever at the end. Mm-hmm. It, it, it's like quasi exactly. I think they make it confusing uh, deliberately. It Completely. sounds too much like comorbidity, which is what yeah, I didn't like. Yes, yeah. <laughs> but here, here, so here's my question. The FDA has said that they are interchangeable in the same formulation. They have and they haven't. So what they said is they said it's medically interchangeable in ways that uh, don't impact safety and efficacy. Mm-hmm. However, that's really misleading because under the EUA approvals, you do not have to comply with good manufacturing policies. Under the EUA policy oh, procedures, you have a whole different liability. You're completely immune. Everybody's completely immune. Right. Once it shifts to a, li- a licensed product, it has to go through a different manufacturing pro- process. It has to meet good manufacturing policies. It has to be distributed in a certain way. It, and it actually is medically different. They claim it won't impact safety and efficacy, but that's mostly speculative. And last but not least, it has a whole different legal liability yep. risk. And by law, cannot be compelled. And yet what you have is the Defense Department misleading their own soldiers to the degree they're misleading labeling a drug that's not even available according to the FDA's own yeah. terms. And the mainstream media is running with headlines, approved by the FDA, but safe and effective, 100%, Dr. Te- Fauci, safe and effective. I technically mean, the truth, the, uh, mm-hmm. Pfizer did get a vaccine approved by the FDA. Exactly, and, exactly. Uh, but they don't they would, tell you everything else. They, they, available. Yeah. they would say because it's the Pfizer vaccine, people assume the Pfizer BioNTech is the exact same. Exactly. Thing. So I read that it said it was it was interchangeable. Except Medically for, interchangeable is to safety yeah. and efficacy. But even that's misleading. That's why we sued them. We sued them in the Eastern District of Tennessee. We're going to have a hearing in two weeks about it. Because what's the what's the has anything happened? Uh, yeah, the, the government filed their opposition. We filed our reply. The judge is going to have a hearing first week of November. So what? So if the media is the one lying, though, what's your claim? Like what's oh what uh, no, it's the FDA lied because the FDA misled everybody. Uh. They buried in the footnotes the truth. Mm. They knew legally they could not issue a biologic license approval until and unless they revoke the emergency use authorized drugs as required by law. And they chose not to do so in order to force the mandates on people in violation of the Nuremberg Code. Oof. Yeah. And, and well, they did. Wow. And they don't yep. even deny that functionally. Yep. They just claim we can't sue. They claim nobody can sue them. So let's, so you're having a hearing in two weeks. Yep. Let's, uh, let's, let's go to the, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll hear about that. We'll, oh, yeah, yeah. We'll get the update. But I want to use this opportunity to talk about, you know, I think we're getting into the territory where everything's going absolutely insane. Mm. And so we have this tweet here, which exemplifies it and makes me very happy. Rachel Bay says the officials who represent Maryland's three westernmost counties in the General Assembly have asked if their county